Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Nigel, also known as Lake Erie Vlogger. And as you can tell, I'm somewhere out on the lake. I am on Lake Erie and uh, just uh, Fight Point Abbey Knoll Lighthouse, which is just behind me. Uh, but over in the distance, way over there, is an Inuit-owned uh, vessel. Um, I believe it's pronounced Aqua, but it's not spelled Aqua, which means summer. And it's out there, it's a lift, um, it's basically a, a heavy lift ship. So we're going to make our way out there and hopefully have a good look around it, get the drone up and get some nice shots. So I'm just going to try and get the camera in the right direction and show you how far it is. It's probably about 10 kilometers away. Just somewhere there. So we're going to head out over there and go check it out. This is the MV Ayak. While out on the lake, I googled the pronunciation of the name and it said it's pronounced Aqua. Not trusting this, I did some more research once I got home, then found on another site that the said word is pronounced Oyak, which means summer in Inuktitut. thing is we're going to come around on the sunny side so it's not backlit this lake get a better view Someone's got a nice little yacht up there. They got the water's choppy on this side. MV Oyak is a general cargo ship with a rich history dating back to its construction back in 1994 in the Netherlands by IHC Merwed Schuitzworth. Originally named Egmengrak, the vessel operated under its name until 2019 when it was acquired by the Transport at Nanuk Inc. and Nunavik Eastern Arctic Shipping Inc. These entities are responsible for the ship's operations and management. 
Speaking of, of uh, Nunavik, Nunavik is a region located in the northern part of Quebec in Canada. It encompasses the northern third of the province and is situated above the 55th parallel north. Nunavik is known for its remote and rugged landscape, including numerous lakes, rivers, and vast coastline along the Hudson Bay, Hudson Strait, and Angava Bay. The ship is 137.16 meters in length, which is 450 feet, with a breadth of 18.9 meters, 62 feet and it has a gross tonnage weight of 8,448 metric tons. Oyak is equipped to handle a variety of cargo, including heavy cargoes, and has a container capacity of 720 TEUs, 24 equivalent units. The hull is made out of steel and it's a single hull with removable pontoons for up to 11 compartments. The ship also features heavy lift derricks, making it suitable for transporting oversized and particularly heavy items. The MV Oyak is a notable vessel, primarily known for its operations in the Arctic region. It is an ice-breaking cargo ship designed to navigate through ice-covered waters, making it particularly useful for transporting goods and supplies to remote Arctic communities and supporting various industries operating in the region. Great looking ship, and uh, some nice cargo on there. Got some um, containers, got the ship on there. Ship, <laughs> a boat, <laughs> a yacht, a little pleasure craft. And uh, yeah, um, she ran away very shortly, no doubt. So, anyway, that is another wrap for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure you like and subscribe. I'll be back very shortly with uh, another video in the near future. Until then, stay safe, take care.